Hi guys. I, uh, this is Susan again. Ooh, um, I'm here to give you a peek at five tips. Five. I'm just going to keep it to five so you can get started. Um, beginner tips on how to get started with acrylics because you can get overloaded and um, you want to get started and get some direction and start practicing and uh, yeah let's take a look okay tip number one is uh, your canvas and you can go to Michaels or Hobby Lobby or those places which I don't particularly care for the canvases are pretty rough but you know if you are careful in how you pick it uh, you might get lucky I like to order from Dick Blick. They're usually pretty good. I scored these recently and uh, check the canvas. Make sure your edges are good. Let me turn this camera on. Okay, so this one is um, a 12 by 12 square and it's a stapled back. And um, you hear that it's really rough so uh, and that's with an extra coat of gesso that I put on anyways this is the package that it came in I got a really good deal on these through Dick Blick and there's uh, two four six seven canvases here so if you are a beginner I highly recommend this you can get a uh, pack and play away it's a good way to go um, the other alternative is uh, you can buy this paper by Canva. I'll put the link in my um, down there. <laughs> There'll be a link <laughs> down there um, with the uh, link to this particular paper. It comes in a pad in different sizes and it's like um, a canvas paper and it works really great. So that's also affordable. So uh, that'll get you started too. So the next thing about canvases you really need to know is because they uh, are so rough and quite often thin, you see the, the back here, uh, you want to put a couple of coats of gesso on. Your first coat, uh, a white gesso and um, Put it on nice and smooth, let it dry. It only takes about 15, 20 minutes to dry. And um, then put a second coat on it. Sometimes what I do, if the canvas is really rough and the cheaper canvases are, trust me, they are, um, you can give it a sanding and that will help the paint move across it too. But you don't want it completely smooth because acrylics, acrylics need some grip. So they need something to like grab onto. So um, yeah. I, I forget what I paid for these. I think it was like 12 bucks for seven canvases. I mean, really? It was a great deal. So um, check it out and the link will be down below. Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about, okay, the types of gesso. Uh, Liquidec Liquitex is one that I use. I buy it, the white, I buy it in a big container. But you don't have to do that. You can get it in a 16 ounce. And this particular one is a... Um, clear and I like using the clear because quite often I'll do a mixed media piece which is watercolor Posca pans and crayons and all kinds of stuff and I like to put the clear over top of that because of course you don't want to put white gesso over top of that and then that allows me to do layers um, hmm. you guys that's probably too advanced for you guys right now okay we'll get to that in a later video but uh, White gesso is a good one. Uh, it's versatile. You can use it on everything. So um, yeah, that's a good way to go. Okay, tip number three. I think we're at three. What do you think, three? Hmm. Um, okay, if you want to get started in acrylics, you can start with just four colors plus white, and that will get you going. And uh, so I use Nova Color. So you want a light yellow, which is this one here is a medium uh, cadmium yellow. Uh, you can get a pyroli red or a quinacridone red, or if you've got some money, get both. They're good. 
and uh, you want a blue and the phthalo blue is a good one to start with of course you don't need a jar this big that's just me and uh, let's see yellow red blue that's that's three colors and then of course white and I get white in a big jar because I use a lot of it and then I put it in one of these squirt containers because it's much easier to just grab it and squirt it and I do the same with some of my other colors too so here's a turquoise and this is a Payne's gray but you don't need those so just to get started you just need those basic colors and white it'll get you going so uh, I will show you some mixing real quick what we can do just with those colors so let's pick take those out of the way so we're going to have blue yellow red okay you want and add a little bit of white to it and there you go that's a pretty blue and then if you add more white you can make it even lighter and then more white like that all right and then so if it's straight there's how dark it is you can see right there so let's add some different colors now let's add some yellow <clears throat> and check that one out and there's what they look like mine are a bit of a mess but you know what I've had these for gosh probably a couple of years and I've done some really big paintings so it goes a long ways okay it looks kind of weird on here because of my background um, okay so we're going to just put that oh I got a little bit of, of the blue in there so let's wipe that off I'm going to wash my brush a little bit all right and keep paper towels around you'll always need them I keep one around and I just kind of wipe my brush off right beside me here <clears throat> so let's try that yellow again so we're going to put a bit of yellow right there it's just gorgeous it's like sunshine so there's that one Are you getting it yeah okay um and now I'm going to add some ye uh, yellow some white to the yellow let's see what happens I use a different white there's a better one there we go so we'll put a little bit of and now we can make it a real nice creamy uh, yellow there we go oh, a little bit of gunk in there okay add a bit more wa water yeah a little bit more white and then we get another shade of yellow it's more like a lemon yellow so now I'm going to do okay next we're working with the red and let's mix some red with a bit of the yellow and you'll get a really nice cadmium orange that's just the straight two colors so now I'm putting a bit of white and yellow into the orange we created so now we have a lighter orange Okay, now I'm just adding more white to the light orange that we already had, a little bit more red, making more of a flesh tone. And unfortunately, it's right off the page. I don't know how I managed to do that. Now we're getting into some red, so straight red high rolly red I'm going to add a little bit of white so it just softens it down a little bit so it's a little bit of pink in there it's still a red though 
And so just keep adding, 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 adding. I'm working on it. And look at the different shades that you get. It's really fun playing with color. Okay, I don't know where I went with that one. I got a hold of this. Okay, I've just laid down some pale, pale pink. I added more white. So uh, it's Barbie pink now. Okay, so we've got our three primary colors up. I'm grabbing some red and a bit of yellow. Oh. Okay, down the middle. There we go. So I'm creating a dark orange. So you can take make different shades of orange depending on the amount of uh, red you have in it. All right, now I'm mixing some dark blue. So a straight blue with a bit of red in it, which will give us a deep purple. Or not. I guess I didn't put enough uh, red in that one. Let's stop this a sec. Okay, it looks like a very deep cranberry. A little bit of blue, a lot of red, straight red. So I'm putting some more blue in there. Let's see what we come up with. It should get more purple this time. Okay, I'm taking that mixture of the red and the blue, the straight blue, and I'm putting some white in there and mixing it up. and we will get a brand new color. It's more of a uh, mauve. And then you can keep lightening that up too and creating more colors out of that. You can see it there. Okay, now I'm playing with the blue. So I'm taking the straight blue and add a little bit of yellow to it. And we can create some wonderful greens with that. So I'm throwing some of that yellowy green right over top of the blue I just put on there. And you can see it. So you've got um, all the way from a dark Prussian blue green all the way down to a pale green. Okay, now we've got the blue-green. I added a little bit of white to it. And unfortunately, I put it on off-screen. So you can't see it, but you end. The thing is to just have colors. You can take your colors and mix them together, add a little white, and uh, even try mixing all three colors together, but put different amounts of each color in the um, in the pile 
and then add a little bit of uh, white, blend it down. Okay, so now we're grabbing some of the red again. See what we come up with. It's got some blue on there. So uh, it'll be a red blue. Oh, there we go. I actually pulled it up to the camera. Brilliant. So you can see those colors I, I made down there. It creates more of an earth tone when you're taking your colors and mixing them all together, the bottom ones. So now I'm, I'm taking everything, it was the end of the day, and mixing up all kinds of stuff on the palette. Now I took what I had on my brush, which was blue and green and red, I don't know, and I mixed it all together with some white and I came out with kind of a caramel type of color. Now remember, we're only using three colors. They don't count white as a color because it's not. It's a lightener. But isn't that a hoot? I mean, it just always blows me away when I look at this. How many colors you can get from three colors. So it just depends on experimentation. Keep experimenting. Okay, so here's some blue. Actually, the blue that has a little bit of red in it, so it's more of a purple blue. What am I going to do with that? I can't remember. I shot this the day before yesterday, and I did a voiceover while I was doing it, but the camera, the microphone screwed up. What can I say? I don't know. Still working on technology. So here we are with whatever I just put on the brush, which is the blue-green and some red. There we go. Uh, I actually turned it around that time. That's a really pretty blue, blue-green. So now I'm mixing a lot of red into the uh, blue that's sitting there. Let's see what color we get. It's like a Christmas red. So your Christmas red has got a hint of blue in it. All right, here's the colors we just um, created. As you can see, there you go all from three colors. So have at it, have fun, and happy creating. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, if I can only say that word. And um, ring the bell, please.